Well, last week on News 4, we explored how the East Side is working to get its piece of the Buffalo resurgence. Tonight, News 4's Jen Schantz gives us a project on Jefferson Avenue that could help bring back lost business. This empty lot on Jefferson Avenue between Northampton and Southampton streets is symbolic of a new beginning. At least that's the hope for President and CEO of People Incorporated, Rhonda Frederick. I think it will be the catalyst for huge change in the neighborhood. A neighborhood that's seen businesses close and people leave over the years. Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown showed us around the Jefferson Avenue apartment site, one of several projects the city is helping to fund to bring the east side back to its former glory. Eventually here you will see 84 housing units uh, between two buildings. Making the housing affordable was a priority, according to Frederick. So based on your income is how your rent is determined and there will be apartments at every income level. There will be also retail spaces that will help to bring retail businesses back to Jefferson Avenue. The $24 million project is getting money from the city and the state, along with both federal and state tax credits. Teaming up with Sinatra and company real estate, the mixed income housing project will also include space for people with disabilities. Frederick says she wants this project to benefit the people who live in this neighborhood, which turns out happens to be many of her employees. We have a lot of people incorporated employees who live in this neighborhood and are really excited about the possibility of having um, an apartment in the neighborhood. There will also be a recruitment center right on site so People Inc. can continue to grow its team. Mayor Brown says this is one of many projects the city is backing on the east side. We also will be investing in our youth with the Johnny B. Wiley Stadium. Uh, several million dollars will be invested in that facility. Construction starts on the Jefferson Avenue apartments in October after some environmental work is done to make sure the ground in and around the site is healthy. Frederick would like to find a historically significant name for the site, but she says for now, Jefferson Avenue apartments will do. Jen Schantz, News 4.